Hey friends, I hope you are feeling fabulous. I wanted to check in with you today and talk about this transition to spring that we are all going to need to approach right now. So I was inspired to talk about this this morning because I received an email from Joyful Belly, which is an Ayurvedic website. I love getting their blog posts. And it was talking about how February is this month of bitterness, how we can actually be feeling that emotionally. And it is really from this stagnation of blood, from this coldness at the end of winter and this conflict with that happening and this need of the body to start lightening up, releasing fat, basically lightening up our body and our mood to prepare for spring. Now, I've already written about this. I've done videos on it before, and still, it kind of took me by surprise because here in February, we're not thinking about spring. <laughs> um, maybe we're getting clues here in California, but our dear friends in Texas and over the rest of the United States are dealing with harsh weather. But yes, it is more obvious here in California. So I was surprised <laughs> that I had missed this cue because I have been dealing with some phenomenon in my body um, that is telling me I need to be paying attention and making that shift. So not everyone is feeling this. We all have different constitutions, but keeping these guidelines in mind is really helpful when your body is ready to shift. So how did I know that I needed help right now? How did I know that I really needed to pay attention to this article and make changes? Over this last week, I have been having issues with digestion. And I won't get into the details, <laughs> but basically things started slowing down. I was feeling bloated. I was actually gaining weight, which I know is more water weight, feeling inflammation in my body. So especially along my spine, coincidentally, because it's not a coincidence, um, but I started breaking out along my spine. So I'm seeing this vent out to the skin too, but there is this sluggishness. There is this toxicity inside from impeded movement of chi and blood, of our energy and blood. So there is a difference from the way it's presented with Ayurveda versus traditional Chinese medicine. And let me pause here for a moment. So I am a yogini. I've been practicing for over 20 years now. And yoga is a complete health system. So because I am steeped in that, I am aware of Ayurveda, which is the, the science of dietetics in the yogic system. But it's not something I'm super trained in. I am very aware of it, but don't have the training. I do have my master's degree in traditional Chinese medicine, which dietetics, again, is an important part of that complete health system, along with acupuncture, herbs, qigong, the energetics, similar to yoga, and um, twina massage. So anyway, dietetics is an important piece of both systems. And so I look at both and see where they overlap because that overlap is what I like to present to people, that this is general advice for everyone. And you can look into each system, which may have some unique advice that aligns with you. I tend to lean more toward the Chinese medicine side of um, eating healthy for my family seasonally, but there are many approaches through the Ayurvedic system that I value as well, especially if you have the herbs that they suggest. And this transition to spring is where both systems agree very strongly. So what are the things that you can be doing to transition at this point? Well, we can be lightening up our diet a bit, so not eating as much heavy proteins and fats, they are definitely still very important. I'm not saying remove them, but just lessen how much you are eating. See, see if you can bring in more leafy green vegetables to bring in that bitterness that I was mentioning um, is important from both systems, Ayurveda and TCM. 
So bitter and also sour foods. So leafy greens are nice and bitter. Citrus fruits, you can be bringing those in. Beets and carrots are very nourishing for the blood. And that's why I'm nursing this <laughs> beet smoothie over here. I made a huge batch, so it's lasting me through breakfast and lunch. Radishes are good to bring in. Dandelion greens are really nourishing right now and actually help to clear out these toxins from this stagnant blood. And these are all cholagogs, which help to release more bile, which helps with cholesterol metabolism, fat metabolism. It helps us to release that from the body. Vinegar, especially apple cider vinegar, and also aloe are very good to bring in. So aloe juice, or even a powdered aloe herb, you can start incorporating into your daily regimen. So if you are starting to see some congestion in your body as I am, and if you are feeling like you need to be making this transition right now, you can also accelerate it by taking some herbs. So Tripala is a very classic Ayurvedic blend that consists of three fruits, and it basically helps to clear out the colon and GI tract. This blend is a little warm for my body, and I actually prefer using doTERRA Zendocrine blend, which is also a detox herbal blend. Um, it also has milk thistle in it and kelp, marshmallow root, and I just find that I assimilate this a little better. You can be consuming food grade essential oils, so the citrus oils like grapefruit, wild orange, lemon. Add those to your water a few times today. That will also help with this process. And then we're also going to want to increase our activity gradually. And I love doing this through a yoga practice first. So adding in more twists, a little more of an invigorating practice while still gentle because we are still going to have some rainy days coming up where it's nice to have something you can do indoors with yoga, with qigong, but of course getting out in the sun whenever possible too. So I hope this information was helpful for you. Let me know in the comments if so. And again, this is not important for everyone right now. However, we usually need some time to work up to this transition to spring. This is a very major change of weather, and of course the body needs to adjust. It knows what to do naturally, but of course we are making choices that need to be more conscious in order to support it. Trees know what to do as the season changes, but they don't eat crazy diets <laughs> like we do. And so if you find yourself just eating the same foods constantly or doing the same activities constantly, that may actually be setting you up for having a harder time transitioning. Spring is all about change. It's about adaptability. So from the emotional perspective, this is the season where we need to be flexible and to go with the flow in order to avoid stagnation, frustration, anger that can come up from being in a rut. So you can start making these changes, I suggest, but if you're still feeling like you don't have a lot of energy or if you're not digesting well, if you're having loose stools, then you may not be ready yet to make this change and still eat those nourishing winter foods. Reserve your energy until you feel that the time is appropriate. Hopefully I'll be seeing you at my weekly classes that I'm going to be bringing back in March on Thursday morning. So stay tuned for that. And this is in addition to the lunar yoga classes that I will be continuing to do. So have a great rest of the day, friends. I will talk to you again soon.